Hey strong folks, today is the day, it's push-up time. Push-ups are an incredibly popular body weight exercise found in countless training programs. They're used in the military, school sports, and even some martial arts. It's also a traditional exercise used to measure upper body strength and endurance in physical assessment tests, a real classic. But before I show you how to master the Freeletic signature push-ups, let's look at some very common mistakes. Mistake number one, your shoulders and hips are not coming up at the same time. You can correct this by engaging your core to keep the focus on your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Number two, shrugging your shoulders or letting your head hang down. Focus on keeping your shoulders away from your ears and keep your head in a straight line. Mistake number three, elbows flaring out away from your torso. Your elbows should be aimed backwards at about a 45 degree angle or kept closer to the torso. Keep in mind that the closer they are, the more your triceps are worked. In any case, it's key to perfect your form before attempting lots of push-ups. Remember, quality before quantity. And now some useful tips to make things a little easier if needed. Knee push-ups, negative push-ups, and incline push-ups are great for that. You can find all of these in the Explore tab of the app under Single Exercises. The main focus of this movement is on the chest muscles, front of the shoulder, and triceps. Your core and your glutes are also activated to keep the body straight. Proper hand placement is crucial to properly execute a push-up. Your hands should be under your shoulders. A good way to find the correct position is by making sure that your index finger is underneath your shoulder. Start in a high plank position and slowly lower yourself down until your chest touches the ground and release your hands from the floor. Releasing the hands at the bottom of the movement is important for three reasons. One, it requires you to activate the muscles in your core and brings your shoulder blades into the correct position. Two, it ensures that you're going through the full range of the motion. Three, it requires more work by not allowing your muscles to use that built-up tension to push your body back up at the bottom of the movement. Make sure to use your breath to your advantage. Breathe in on the way down and breathe out vigorously as you push up. And finally, some useful cues to keep your form. Keep your body in a straight line by bracing your entire core as if someone were going to hit you in the stomach. Lower yourself down in a controlled movement and imagine pushing the floor away from you. Well, that's it for today, people. Let us know how you're progressing. Leave any questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.